So when I was younger, I really enjoyed watching the National Geographic TV program, Air Crash Investigators. I found it fascinating how the investigators and engineers could work out exactly why or what mistake caused these unfortunate accidents um, and also what they would put in place to prevent the same thing happening twice. So I really gained an interest in investigation, analysis, aircraft, structures, um, and it was one of the main reasons why I went on um, and studied engineering. So I work in an engineering consultancy. So we work for other companies when they need extra engineers on certain projects or if they need particular expertise in an area. I'm currently working on an air to air refueling project. So um, this is where fighter jets are refueled in midair rather than having to land and I check a lot of reports, so I check calculations and the written work of my colleagues, make sure it's correct and accurate because ultimately these reports will um, determine whether the aircraft is safe for flight. The projects we work on can last from a week to many years. I like variety so I make sure I don't get stuck on a project for too long, um, but they all involve uh, various different things like computer modelling, um, some involve a lot of meetings and stuff. Um, but that's my typical work day. So in school, I was relatively quiet, but I had a nice group of really good friends um, and I worked hard in school um, during school time so that I could enjoy my weekends and my evenings without having to worry about catching up on work. Maths has helped me massively in my career. Engineering essentially is applied maths. So I've used it every single day in some form or another. And it's really important to fully understand how these structures behave, how aircraft behave. So I think communication is really important for engineering. So whether you're able to write um, reports well and uh, present your work well, and also explain it on the phone if you're stuck or you need to um, call someone up. The other thing I think is important is a bit of creativity. So in engineering, we get a lot of results, a lot of numbers, a lot of graphs. And if you're presenting it in the exact same way again and again, it can be quite boring. Um, but if you can think of a different way of uh, presenting your results or writing about it, or maybe a different figure to convey your idea, um, then that can be really great. So yeah, I think communication and creativity. When I was younger, I um, was always rushing to do everything. So I was trying to do everything at 100 miles an hour. So my piece of advice would be don't rush. Um, take some time to make your decisions. Make sure you're happy with what you're going to do. Um, thankfully, I have ended up in a job that I really enjoy, but I didn't for example, I didn't take a gap year or anything. And as soon as I picked engineering, I had already almost picked what universities I wanted to apply to. So um, definitely don't rush into your decisions. And if you find that you've taken the wrong course or gone to the wrong uni or college or whatever it is, then you definitely have time ahead of you to um, change your path and make sure you are doing something that you enjoy. So yeah, don't rush into anything. <laughs>